All right, it's 2020. What's the internet situation in Chatham County? It's all over the place. I mean, there's some rural areas that have fiber. There's some, um, you know, there's Time Warner or Spectrum cable. Um, there's AT and T. There's all different speeds. It's uh, it should be a searchable uh, field for real estate. It's not yet, but in Chatham County, we can be all over the place. I'm a member of the um, I'm the American Planning Association and the Realtor Land Institute, and um, we're affiliated with the Urban Land Institute. and And one of the huge changes that we're seeing is um, every everyone is very very concerned about sewer. That's still the top dog, but it, it used to be natural gas. So many people would be like, "Oh, you have a natural gas line?" They'd be excited about that. One of the one of the first things that they're asking right now. Um, is connectivity and internet speed. It's like having electricity, you have to have it's like, Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's really up there. Water, sewer, electricity, natural gas, but internet speed has come up. And, you know, so um, I'm usually uh, just working from home and there's no issues. But when, when there's a bunch of kids at my house and uh, you know, we're watching Netflix, and as we're watching Netflix, all the kids are sitting on their phone playing games or doing something, and then the Netflix will go, zzz, and they're like, what's going on? Your internet sucks. And I'm like, well, it's really not that bad when you're not here, you know? I mean, I can sit. So you have Century Lake. I have Century Lake, which is horrible, yeah. Yeah, it's, ten, yeah. Ten it's the only thing, though. I used to have... It's 10 megs down, half a meg up. But when you're uploading, it crushes the download speed. Yeah, I don't know what you just said. If, if they're sending a snap on Snapchat, it screws up your Oh, uh, that's what it is. Yeah. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. And I said, it, when I say put your phones down, turn off your Wi-Fi, <laughs> then the Netflix runs fine. But, um, yeah, I mean, the fiber is what speed? 200? It goes up to 500 or 500. 1,000 megs thousand. down. Yes. Yeah. Extremely so that's what out of the lake it's AT&T and it's 200 and that's phenomenal compared yeah. to everybody else yeah. spectrum's not bad <clears throat> that's what we have here at the office okay yeah but uh, and we don't have any issues with with it at the office or whatever but it is I mean and especially now COVID-19 with everybody working from home it's just it's just hugely important so that is one, like there's a mass migration of all these people in the urban areas to the rural areas, but one of the things they need to understand is, you know, you have to, you have to investigate your internet speed, or there are ways to enhance it, um, or, you know, use like, sometimes we have to use cell phone hotspots or whatever, there's just times when it's not good. But the one of the things that I've found that hasn't been good in my situation was the satellite internet, that did not no. work. What was the reason for that? What's the speed on it's that? It's just terrible technology. It's just terrible technology. Yeah. So, I didn't have trouble receiving things, but if I tried to send something to someone, it was it, it would just it would take forever. Yeah, and there's science all over for that, saying uh -huh. how great it is. It's, it's horrible. It's terrible. Yeah, I don't. I I'd rather have the Century Link than the oh, Satellite. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, but just um, uh, if you're investigating properties, if you're buying land or residential and you're wanting to get to the rural areas that's that's one of the things that should be part of your due diligence is to figure out what the internet speed is